Good day, my name is Franco Ferrari, and today I'm going to show you how to remove and install a piston in an engine. To remove and install a piston correctly, you'll need some shop rags, engine oil, piston ring compressing tool, needle nose pliers, fuel liner vacuum hose, socket, extension, ratchet, ball peen hammer, saw face hammer, torque wrench, and sometimes I'll use a broom handle. For today's demonstration purposes, I'm going to remove the piston out of the engine. First thing is I rotate the piston so it's at bottom dead center. Next, I remove the safety pin from the engine stand and I rotate the engine. Be careful, the engine could be heavy. On the bottom end of the connecting rod, there is a connecting rod cap. There are two connecting rod nuts that securely hold the cap in place. Using your ratchet extension and socket, loosen the connecting rod nuts. To loosen the connecting rod from the connecting rod cap, I gently tap on the studs. Using your hands, remove the connecting rod cap. After the cap has been removed, I use my broom handle to push the piston out. I use my hand to catch the piston so it doesn't hit the floor and damage the piston. After removing the piston, you'll want to reinstall it back in the engine. Using the connecting rod, I place it in the vise and tighten the vise. On every piston there is a skirt. On the bottom of the skirt you'll find that there is always one side that has a little bit more than the other. The side of the skirt that has the more wear is called the thrust side. After you locate the thrust side of the piston, turn your piston ring so that the groove is in line with the piston boss opposite the thrust side. You'll need to repeat for the second compression ring. After locating your piston ring compressing tool, you'll take your Allen key and insert it into the piston ring compressing tool. Depressing the knob, turn counterclockwise, will expand the ring compressing tool. Be careful as these edges here could be sharp and cut your hands. On the bottom of the piston ring compressor, there are dimples. These dimples face down over the piston. To tighten the tool, place the Allen key back into the ring compressing tool and tighten. Using engine oil, pour a small amount into the palm of your hand and rub inside the cylinder. This will allow the piston to be installed easily. To prevent damage to the crank pin, turn the crankshaft to a bottom dead center. To prevent damage to our cylinder walls, we're going to install our fuel line over the connecting rod studs. Every piston will have some type of mark from the manufacturer indicating the front. This piston has an arrow. Now we are ready to install our piston. Gently tapping on the piston, you will install your piston. After flipping your engine, you'll need to remove your fuel line. Using both hands, push your piston into its position, guiding it into place. Every manufacturer will have some type of marking stamped on the connecting rod cap, which corresponds with the connecting rod. Be sure that these markings line. Next, install your connecting rod cap over top of your connecting rod studs. Next, install your connecting rod nuts. Referring back to your service manual, the connecting rod bearing cap nut torque will be 23 foot-pounds or 31 newton meters. After obtaining your torque value, turn the torque wrench to 23 foot-pounds. 
Next, torque your connecting rod nuts. And that's how you remove and install a piston from an engine.